Hi everyone and welcome to probably a moderately interesting trucking vlog. So I am currently sitting in Blue Beacon in Dallas on uh, off of I-20. I just finished up the most recent trucking video that was uploaded, uh, the Amazon delivery. And this video should be somewhat interesting for a few points. Um, picking up from a Sanderson's farm in Tyler, Texas, and I am delivering that to a Kroger distribution uh, in Louisville. So, first thing, this will be my second load delivering in Louisville ever with this company, and it's been just about a year. And uh, second of all, was there a second of all? Oh, today is my birthday. Well, at 2.18 in the morning, yes, it is my birthday. Anyways, so this trip shouldn't be terrible. <laughs> I, I say that preemptively, right? Um, the, the load is picking up later today at noon. I got a message from dispatch saying, immediately once I finish this delivery, go straight there, drop off my empty trailer, bobtail somewhere to take a break, and then go back there to pick up the loaded trailer. Uh, based on my fun experience with Amazon that I just had, it's looking like I will be going there. I mean, realistically, I can go there and do a split break shouldn't be any sort of issue as in once I drop off my trailer I'll do a seven hour break uh, to complete a split break and just roll on out because the entire trip is only like 750 miles roughly so assuming no other issues happen and I'm not sitting here at the Blue Beacon for 20 hours which is likely um, I'll be able to drop the trailer, take a 7, get out of there by like 1-ish o'clock, drive pretty much all day tomorrow, or today, later today, and then get parked somewhere in Tennessee, just west of Nashville, then drive up to Lebanon Junction Tuesday morning, take a extended break because my delivery isn't until like four in the morning Wednesday morning and of course it's Kroger so you can't get there early but here you can get there two hours early wow but anyways take an extended break now is that gonna be much of a break since I'm by my parents uh, probably not because I might have my mom come pick me up so I can just be at the farm. If anything, we'll go out for dinner or something. I don't know. Overall, it shouldn't be terrible. I just know that I'm gonna have some Red Bulls. Honestly, I don't know if I even need to... Oh, oh my. I don't want to do this, but this might be a... I might even need a Red Bull to get to the uh, Tyler, Texas, even though I'm about 95 miles away. I don't know. And right now I'm just blabbering because I'm sitting here at this blue beacon, you know, it's just after two in the morning. Of course, you know, they got only one of the bays open, but three trucks ahead of me. Okay. Maybe, maybe this is a, uh, a good bit of foreshadowing to how this entire trip's gonna be, right? Hopefully not. You gotta think our positive thoughts, right? Uh, yeah, now that I'm, now that I'm X age now, I guess it wouldn't be too hard to figure out, but now that I'm older, I'm trying to have a, a positive, brighter outlook on life, right? Because I'm getting too old. 
need to be a little bit more positive. Positive energy and vibes. Just express. I mean, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, but other than that. Finishing up now. What do you freaking do, right? Ah. Hmm. I mean, I guess not absolutely terrible. A little bit over an hour. Could be worse. It's just. Oh well, alright, I'm not going to do a bunch of complaining in this video, right? Alright, so, hour and a half, roughly. Hopefully they're open, uh, because that way I can just do my thing and exist. Now, I'm starting to remember I went to a, a Sanderson Farms somewhere. Mississippi? Yeah, Mississippi, and I remember how that one worked, where you could drop your trailer, leave, or you could stay with the trailer, so it might be one of those. I'm half tempted to just stay, just to not have to worry about it, but then on the other hand, this way if I leave, I know for a fact I can complete the rest of my split break and finally take a shower. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, successfully made it here to the pilot, just a couple exits down from the uh, plant. So it, it it was what I thought it was. So basically, uh, KLLM has an account with them. They got multiple empty trailers, and you know I just go there and drop off my empty one. They'll move it to a door, start loading it, and up to my discretion to call them and check on the status of the load and go from there so and the last time I went to one of these it was outside of Jackson Mississippi and they were done pretty early so in theory uh, I finished my seven hour break at like 12 20 so I'll call them around then if they're done, great. If not, I guess I'll just finish out a full 10 and go from there. Simple as that. Um, and the lady at the guard shack was nice, so that was a thumbs up, right? But I am glad that I am a pilot because that means I get to shower. I'm not showering now. I'm, ugh. <laughs> I will do that later. I promise I will do that later. I keep saying I need to, I need to shower and it's getting a little rough, I'll admit, so absolutely we'll do that before I leave later today. Yes. Also, obviously, Bobtail. Um, I did take a full spot, but uh, this pilot has, it's like a U shape, and in the center of a U, there's a, a row of parking, like pass-through parking can't really pass through it if you have a trailer you guys still have to do it back into it but uh, since I'm bobtail I figured I'd take one of these spots instead of an edge spot because if someone else is smart enough and gives a shit then they can just park behind me with no issue and you know trying to be considerate but not my problem and the other thing is it's 5 30 in the morning so people are leaving and Typically, you don't have issues finding spots during the daytime, so also not concerned. A beautiful afternoon here in Tyler, Texas. Decided to go ahead and just do a full 10 hour. Most logical decision. And I am finally going to take this shower. Wow, what a great start to the day. At least it's a little less busier. That's something. Standard shower. Just modernized. Time to fix this disaster. Up and good to go. Just checking my map to see how I'm going to get from 20 to 30 after I get my pickup. And depending on which exit uh, the next cat scale is, because I don't want to backtrack to this pilot because the pilot is west of where I'm going 
I'll have to see which is best, but basically looks like pretty much anything is good to go that's somewhat reasonably marked. I mean, ideally it would be better if I got past the scales at Mount Peasant. You know, I mean, I'm not concerned, but at the same time I just don't want to deal with it. So, I guess 271 or further is going to be the way to go. And because I'll have a full clock, I will pretty much push it as far as I can, which means in theory I should get somewhere around Nashville. I probably won't get as far as the uh, 840 loop or whatever that pilot is there, just because I know I won't find parking. So I'll have to start finding parking before then, but that is the goal. So then tomorrow, I guess by then afternoon, I'll just have a quick two, three hour drive up to Lebanon Junction, park it there, and be good. I mean, I, I am pushing it kind of close because I need to get to Lebanon Junction no later than like three or four to be able to do a full 10 hour break due to my appointment time and Louisville being so early. So, pushing it a little bit, but not super concerned, so should be okay. Just wrapping up the pre-trip here, and I literally just got a message ready on ready re I don't think that's correct grammar but it is ready so that is good I will have to see if the paperwork says anything about um, if there's like a timestamp or anything because I'm curious to see if it was just now ready or if it was ready earlier or not because typically I know I mean, it's been hit and miss when I come to these, but I will get a message saying that the trailer is ready. Uh, it usually has been pretty much message sent right as the trailer has become ready, so if that's the case, then hell, taking a 10 hour break time this perfectly. So, yeah, gonna go there, figure out what how to do it, because you know, these, as, as easy as I say these places are, of the Sanderson Farms, they're also a bit complicated to deal with at the same time, so I guess let's figure this out, because I've never been to this specific one. Okay, finally departing this mess of a place. I mean, honestly, I guess it wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. It's been a while since I went to one of these, so I kind of, but it is pretty much the same as um, the other ones I went to. The only thing is, they didn't give me a small slip of paper uh, earlier this morning, so that kind of messed everything up. I had to go back to the guard shack, and get that, and then I was finally able to do it. And like with any of them, you got to get your trailer, scale it on their scale, then come back and get the paperwork. And then you gotta check out with the guard shack, which, you know, isn't terrible. Uh, I scaled it around 70,000 pounds. Drives, or, or drives were at like 29, and trailer was at like 30. So, honestly, I guess I'm just gonna go where the GPS tells me. And uh, whenever I find a Point three miles a ahead. Turn right on stop FM Route 2015 South. Not worry about trying to do that immediately since it seems to not matter. And I guess, you know, in theory, I guess I don't really need to do it at all. But, I don't know. Have it. But anyways, that took a nice 30, 40 minutes. The uh, GPS here, it's wanting me to go... It's actually wanting me to go the uh, the KLLM fuel route, so which means I'll pass a Loves here in a few miles. Ugh. Also, they got this like mile-long road up to the plant. They got 50 bajillion speed bumps on it. But all right, we are on our way, so. 
yeah, I should make it. A, it's an easy, quick trip to uh, the Petro in West Memphis for my fuel stop. In theory, I should be able to make it there without having to take a 30, so we'll see how that actually pans out. And, uh, yeah. Stopped here at the Loves uh, in Prescott, Arkansas to do a quick bathroom break. Uh, it's still not halfway through to West Memphis, but it is what it is. Hopefully I don't have to stop again to use the restroom, but that is not likely. But what's interesting is, so there are two loves here, neither one is full, and it's about 7.30 in the evening on a Monday. So that's kind of surprising. I guess it might get fuller later, but it's still interesting based on, you know, based on my experiences with loves, so. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's uh, get back to the fun. Here at the lovely Petro here in West Memphis, uh, just a stunning place to be. I mean, it's, it's honestly not terrible, you know. I guess it could be worse. Successfully completed my fuel stop just right now sitting here uh, finishing up my 30 minute break I guess I'm gonna go ahead and scale the truck as well might as well you know safety for me whatever who cares but at this point in time we currently have just about 400 miles to go to get to the Kroger in Louisville saying about a seven hour drive, I think that's a little, well, I guess we'll see, let's see, three and a half, six, so this, this overall took just about six and a half hours, so, and that was what, what I do just now, like 400 miles or something, so, you know, I guess I can beat it, then, you know, I got traffic and everything, so, I don't know, I guess it's somewhat accurate. Uh, ultimately, I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to be stopping in London Junction. That's that's a fact. We know that 100% guaranteed. Uh, the real question is, how far do I want to go tonight uh, before I stop? And the other question is, how many... How many... Uh, Where the hell am I going to find parking? I was looking on Trucker Path, and a couple of the spots I looked at closer to Nashville, like, oh yeah, there's there's some parking. I'm like, I don't know if I fully believe that, but then again, what I saw that loves is making me think, okay, maybe, maybe. So I don't know. It seems a little strange to me that there's adequate amount of parking on a Monday night. But then again, we're allegedly going into this recession, so... Whatever. Okay. Scaled, good to go. Uh, pretty much just about the same as uh, what the um, scale there was, so... I'll take it. Pretty good stuff. Good to know for the future as well. But all right, let's go. I think I found a place. Uh, Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. There's a pilot there. Yeah, there's a pilot there and. According to the pilot app, out of the 28 reserve spots, there are 27 open. I mean, I don't want to go out here paying for parking, but one mile ahead, turn left. By that logic, there should still be some empty spots. And according to the time, I should get there at around two-ish in the morning. So, and it's a big one. It's
it's like 250 spots so we're gonna we're gonna risk it I'll keep an eye on it as I'm driving but hell with it turn right on Petro Road all the other options were pretty uh, pretty shit that's one that's one thing about Tennessee I don't really care for it's uh or just point one mile ahead. Turn right on Martin Luther certain, King There are certain drive. certain areas where parking is not that good, like segments of highway. So, all right, I guess I'm gonna stop rambling here as the road is crap and it's shaking my camera all around. Successfully made it here to the Flying J. No, this is a pilot. I got a little nervous because as I was driving, I was getting tired, so I, I pulled into a 1-9 and there were absolutely no spots, so I was like, oh shit. So I finally made it here, luckily, and as I was pulling in, all these trucks parked along the uh, driving path and everything, I was like, oh no. At the same time, online it says there's uh, still like 27 open spots, so I was like, uh I would say maybe a quarter of the reserve spots are open, so clearly nobody's paying for it. But there were a handful of empty spots here in the in the actual area. Um, I did find one of these uh, slanted spots that I could pull through, which was super nice. I don't have to do any backing, so that's good. Uh, do a ten hour, which is going to put me about 12.20 in the morning, or 12.20 in the afternoon, and then I've got another four-ish hours to get to Lebanon Junction. Oh, is it, is it four? Yeah, four. So, as long as there's no issues, that should work out to where I can do just about a full 10-hour break there, uh, drive to my appointment, or drive to Kroger and uh, be there on time a little bit early, so. Lovely afternoon here. Finished my free trip. Time to go ahead and roll to Lebanon Junction. Hopefully this isn't a bad trip. Just a nice quick little four hours. Knock on wood, right? Uh, I don't know why, but I'm tired. And I did sleep most. I did sleep for most of my 10 hours too, so I don't know. But, Maybe it's just catching up to me. I don't know. Successfully made it to the pilot here. I'm in the uh, side lot or whatever they call it. Um, not, I guess you could say it's kind of full, but there's still a fair amount of uh, creative spots uh, to work with, so we're good. So right now, let's see. Got here just at around five, so that means break ends at 3 in the morning according to co-pilot about 40 miles away so an hour get up at 3 appointments for 4 30 so that should be good get there a little early and I believe they'll be able to take me so and I got my pre-plan for after this trip I don't know if I'll film that but looks like everything will be okay with that as well so um as of right now, I went ahead and put myself in the shower queue. What's interesting is this pilot, for whatever reason, is always just takes forever. And of course, I reserved a shower and it didn't go through. Well, I did it on my other phone, so maybe I just reserved two showers. But it's the same account, so. Anyways, we'll see if that happens. How many? How many? Oh God, I didn't even look. C status. I see it doesn't even tell me like what how many people are ahead of me. Oh pilot, you could do better. You know better than that. Anyways. We'll see if I actually end up showering every time I want to take a shower here. I never am able to, so I'm not too optimistic that that will happen. Other than that, it's gonna be a waiting game as obviously I'm gonna see my parents. Probably go eat dinner at the um bar and grill or whatever the hell that place is just right behind the trees 
And yeah, that'll be that. The only unfortunate thing is I will not get a ton of sleep, which, you know, it's okay, whatever. I'll, I'll trade uh, being able to have a nice sit-down dinner with my parents over a little bit of sleep. Now, watch me, I'm gonna regret that tomorrow morning, but that is a tomorrow problem. Also, I did check on my app that's on this phone, and I'm guest number 86, while on my other phone, I'm guest 90. So, and I believe, if I was paying close enough attention, it said there are six people in line when I did it on that phone. So, that means four. So, technically, there are two people in front of me on this phone. Okay, I'll admit that was maybe a 10 minute wait. So, it's pretty good. Now what's interesting is, on my other phone, I also got the notification immediately when I got the notification on this phone, so I'm not sure exactly how that works, but whatever, not my problem. I'm getting a shower. Still wet, freshly clean though. It's a little warm in here, but it's okay. Hopefully, it, yeah, we'll see. I already took off my shoes, so I don't get my socks all wet. But it's interesting, even though I got the notification, it didn't pop up, so. Oh well, time to get presentable before dinner. So I did hear it come over the radio and um, I'm sorry, but, oh, that is 90, but no, not my problem. Also, much better. Good to go for dinner. Successfully returned to my truck from a nice, not fancy at all dinner, uh, but I, I like going there. It's kind of like a ritual at this point in time. Um, you know, same server, older lady, nice. Um, and then at my uh, parents' neighbor, a neighboring farm lady, uh, she actually is frequents there, so got to see her and catch up with her, so that was also nice. So, overall, a good dinner. Glad that worked out. I have, oof, I have about five hours until I have to get up. Now that is exciting. That's just awful, but Again, I'm not going to say this in the morning, but as of right now, it was worth it. And, well, even though in the morning it, um, I'll feel like shit, but... It's, it's definitely rough, I'll say that. But the worst part was I couldn't even fall asleep for whatever reason. So, that did not help the damn thing. I probably got maybe three hours of sleep. But that's okay. Just a quick hour up to the east side of Louisville, and knowing it's Kroger, I definitely will be able to go back to sleep. So that is nice. A comforting thought in this uh, bit of pain I'm about to experience. Ugh. But I should get there. Uh, it'll be just, just about on time, so... Yay. Successfully arrived here. Uh, technically on time. It was about 4.15 when I got here. Checked in the guard shack and he said that they're still getting started for the day, it sounds like, so told me to find a spot. And normally they have a staging area to the left of me here, but that was completely full. So he said, just go around this way and find a spot, which luckily I did. Uh, yard dog actually pulled out a trailer from this spot as I was turning around in the back, so that was nice. Um, but now it's a waiting game. Successfully got into the door. They literally called me right after I stopped filming the other uh, segment or clip or whatever, so. But got into the door, uh, no real issues. Uh, two comments. So, first thing, they had uh, the wire uh, 
seal and my poor little multi-tool here is uh, a little worse for wear so that was not easy to deal with. Oh, they're already in there and loading me. Huh. Uh, um, and then the other comment is the, uh, the spaces are A, so tight that you can't open the doors while you're next to a truck. So I angled myself and then that got me all messed up. And then it also got me all messed up because they don't have any, well, they have lines here, but they're just space lines. They're not like guidelines for the actual door, so whatever. Now, they are unloading me because I just felt, oh, there it is. You can see the vibration in the camera. So, fun. awake now so I guess well, we'll see what happens but I also wanted to point out if you remember earlier in the video I was talking about how I was curious on when the uh, truck was fin or the trailer was finished because I got the message from dispatch at 3.30 saying that the trailer was ready and I looked here on the paperwork, the paperwork was printed at 220. So now whenever the paperwork is printed, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're fully finished with the trailer. But all in all, it's, uh, eh, taking that full 10 hour break that I did apparently was not a huge deal. So now I guess, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna cook myself some bacon because I guess I shouldn't go straight to sleep. 24 pallets, so. Oh well. Currently 5.45 in the morning. That was a very, very quick experience. Uh, normally, I mean, even, even my banana loads with Kroger took longer than this, so kind of surprised. I don't know if it's just because they got their shit together or what, but you know, I'm looking next to me and I guess because some of these other trucks that got here right as I got to the door looks like they're about to roll out, so huh. good for this Kroger. Kind of surprised. I, I want to say props to my, my hometown. I don't know. But, alright. Gotta get out of here. Got time before my next load to fill up the or wash out the trailer. So, that is the plan. Well, successfully made it to the Blue Beacon. Uh, busier than I expected at 7 in the morning, but I guess it could be worse. Uh, been here when line was all the way to the street, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much, right? I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, though. Uh, overall, not a bad trip. Fun little trip. Got to, got to see my parents. Got to enjoy a little bit of a different uh, route than I normally do, as I normally stay up here in the Midwest. Um, and the Kroger experience was pretty smooth, so I'll definitely take it. I mean, I was there for like an hour and a half total from check-in to departing, so I'll take it. If only they were all like that. Although I am definitely tired, so nap would be nice, but I should be able to get one once I get to my uh, truck cannon here, so should be okay. But, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was a somewhat entertaining video. Or just something. But, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.